So let's compare Intel score i5-6400 with i3-6100. Both of them are is latest is Skylake processor released in third quarter of 2015. And the i5-6400 obviously is faster. And the main reason is i5-6400 uh, is a quad core processor and i3-6100 is uh, dual core processor so with four core and assuming all four cores fire simultaneously you have twice the uh, performance uh, actually it's not exactly twice the performance slightly less maybe like 90 percent but uh, you get lower clock frequency at 3.3 gigahertz and twice performance because of the uh, number of cores but again no, uh, not all the both of course they don't have the dual threads mm. so we it, it's a slightly trade off you get more cores but you have less number of um, number of threads uh, same number of threads to be exact and it's lower clock frequency but it's still i5-6400 is you can expect it to be substantially faster like about 20% to 30% faster than i3-6100 another thing that drives up the performance is the cache memory which is 6 MB for i5-6400 versus 3 MB for 6100 now if you look at the pricing you have 50% higher price for our core i5 at $187 and the i5-6400 also has a, a mm, higher uh, turbo clocking so what we were referring to as 3.30 gigahertz is actually uh, its peak clock frequency of a single core its base clock frequency actually stays lower at 2.7 gigahertz but when the requirement there is a requirement it can uh, ramp up its clock frequency to 3.3 gigahertz and that's how it keeps the power consumption contained under normal surface comes it's, it's actually a turbo clocking is an intelligent design and that's one thing good about core i5 uh, coming back to the uh, integrated graphics the the both of them have the same Intel HD graphics 530 but i5-6400 is actually has lower clock frequency you can expect it slightly lower performance it's a trade-off when you drive up the processor performance you compromise on the graphics and B b gaming it's not uh, uh, really good enough you will still need a, a good uh, external graphics card so that's what uh, not in the nutshell these two processors are we don't have a benchmarking number yet we will update it with the benchmark numbers once this processor become available 6100 is not still not available on Amazon or everywhere but once it's available we will update you Thanks for taking a look.